you've probably had it in colorful jelly cups, chewy candies, marshmallows, or even those wobbly desserts that shake like they're alive. But here's the real question. Do you actually know what gelatin is made of? Spoiler alert, it's not plants, and it's definitely not magic. Let's peel back the wrapper on one of the most surprising ingredients in your favorite treats, gelatin, and follow its fascinating and slightly shocking journey from the slaughterhouse to the sweets aisle. Our story doesn't start in a candy factory. It begins somewhere very different, inside a meat processing plant. Yes, you heard that right. That jiggly jelly in your fruit snack? It starts off as animal bones, skin, and connective tissue, mainly from pigs and cows. Why? Because these animal parts are packed with a protein called collagen, the key to making gelatin. After animals are processed for meat, their leftover parts, like pig skins or cow bones, are collected and sent to gelatin manufacturing facilities. Nothing goes to waste. At the factory, these raw materials are first cleaned and chopped into smaller pieces. They're washed thoroughly to remove any fat, dirt, or blood. Then it's time for a long soak, and we mean long. The pieces are soaked in either acid or alkaline solutions, depending on whether they came from pig skin, cow hides, or bones. This soaking process can take several days to weeks and it helps break down the tough structure of collagen. It loosens up the fibers and makes it easier to extract the good stuff later. Once the material is ready, it's boiled in massive industrial tanks filled with hot water. This heat pulls the collagen out of the bones and hides, dissolving it into a thick, sticky liquid. This liquid, that's our precious gelatin solution. But don't grab a spoon just yet. It's not clean. Next comes the filtration stage. The gelatin solution is run through several filters to remove impurities, bits of bone, and other leftover solids. After filtering, it's evaporated. The water is reduced to make the gelatin thicker and more concentrated. Then comes the drying. The gelatin is spread onto long stainless steel belts or trays and dried into thin sheets, kind of like fruit roll-ups, but less fruity and more wobbly. Once dry, it's broken into small flakes or ground into a fine powder, the form you often see in supermarkets. And just like that, the once tough bony leftovers of an animal are now a silky smooth ingredient that gives structure to jellies, gummies, and even yogurt. So how does this powder become candy? In candy factories, the gelatin powder is rehydrated with water then mixed with sugar, corn syrup, fruit flavors, and colors. It's all heated into a thick, gooey syrup and poured into molds, whether it's gummy bears, worms, or heart-shaped treats. After cooling and setting, the gelatin works its magic. It gives the candy that signature bounce, chew, and stretch. Think about it. Without gelatin, your favorite gummy bears would just be sugary soup. And it doesn't stop at candy. Gelatin is used in marshmallows, jello, vitamin capsules, ice cream, and even cosmetics and photographic film. Yep, it's everywhere. But now that you know where it comes from, are you feeling a little different? Don't worry, it's not unsafe or harmful. In fact, gelatin is high in protein and contains amino acids that some people believe support joint health and skin elasticity. Still, for vegetarians, vegans, and anyone trying to avoid animal products, this ingredient is a hard no. That's why some companies now use gelatin alternatives like agar-agar from seaweed, carrageenan or pectin from fruit peels to make plant-based jellies and candies. But let's be honest, when it comes to that classic chewy, bouncy texture, gelatin is still king in most mainstream production. So next time you're popping a gummy into your mouth or enjoying a bowl of jiggly dessert, remember you're tasting something that started as bones and skin. Kinda crazy, right? If you found this eye-opening or jaw-dropping, 
there's more where that came from. This channel dives deep into how everyday food is made, not just what's on the label, but the real process behind it. So don't just stop here. Subscribe now for more surprising, satisfying, and sometimes shocking stories from inside the world of food production. Thanks for watching. And next time you eat a gummy bear, just know you're chewing on a little bit of science, history, and animal leftovers.